Anxiety of Influence. This is a very, very famous essay by Harold Bloom. In this essay, he talks about the tra uh, following the traditions of the predecessors by the contemporary poets. And he says that like T.S. Eliot's tradition and individual talent, the contemporary poets must follow their predecessors and they must continue the tradition that, they, uh, that has been followed by their predecessors. Harold Bloom is completely contrasting and opposite to that T.S. Eliot's idea. And he says that when a contemporary poet reads his predecessors, he is actually diverted from his path. His psychology is hindered and that causes an anxiety in the contemporary poets. So when a contemporary poet is trying to get influenced by the predecessors, it actually creates the anxiety of influence. That is what he named the title. So this is the significance of the title, Anxiety of Influence. So the Anxiety of Influence is subtitled A Theory of Poetry, which was published in 1973. The Anxiety of Influence, A Theory of Poetry. It was the first in a series of books that advanced a new revisionary or antithetical approach to literary criticism. And what was the central thesis of Bloom's idea is that poets are hindered in their creative process by the ambiguous relationship that they necessarily maintain with precursors poets. They has to, they has to get influenced by their precursors, their predecessors. But when they follow, when they are get influenced, then their own thoughts are hindered. Their own psychology is hindered. And that creates an anxiety in their mind. He says that uh, writers learn to write by reading and adapting their predecessors. There are hardly any people who create his own ideas with his own imaginations. Generally, they create the ideas after reading someone else, especially their predecessors and precursors. And the true originals are very rare. So which is why critics talk so much about traditions and the influence from the tradition. As I said about the tradition and individual talent by T.S. Eliot. So what was the condition of the literary studies when Bloom was uh, writing his uh, critical works? Critical studies tended to advance a rather smoothly linear notion of inheritance and inventions. And writers took what they needed from their great precursors and they discarded the rest of the things. But Bloom was quite different from those traditional values. He was interested precisely in those traces, the traces that are left by the predecessors and precursors, and those traces are followed by the contemporary poets. So in Bloom and schemes, literature is like a quarreling family. This point is very important and asked many times in the exam that whose statement is this? Literature is like a quarreling family. And the critics becomes the Freudian analyst. Freudian analyst, uh, Sigmund Freud was a psychoanalytical critic. So anything which is uh, analyzed psychologically is called a Freudian analyst who can sort out the mutilated patterns of stress and resistance. To come after a great poet like Arnold, he gives an example of Matthew Arnold that he came after Wordsworth and Keats and he followed them as a precursor. So Wordsworth and Keats are the source of anxiety for Matthew Arnold because Arnold's psyche or Arnold's emotion are hindered by the influence of Wordsworth and Keats. So they uh, becomes a source of anxiety, anxiety of and the influence that Arnold gets is the anxiety of influence. He said that the younger poets deal with this anxiety by strongly misreading the more powerful predecessors, so as to be able to change away from his massive and obstru uh, obstructive presence. Whereas the weak misreader is the poet who gives in to that anxiety of influence, but all poets, he says, 
they have to follow the predecessors whether they are the strong poets or the weak poets they are the misreaders of their predecessors some are weak some are strong because there is no easy or disinterested way to read one's ancestors just as there is no easy disinterested way to be a child of one's parents so this is how he explained the anxiety of influence this idea of harold bloom is quite contrary to ts iits lead idea of tradition according to ts elite all the poets must follow the tradition of their predecessors but bloom says that while they are following their precursors and predecessors their own ideas their own psyche is hindered and that creates an anxiety in their mind so when they are influenced by their predecessors is called anxiety of influence i hope these all ideas of harold bloom are very clear to you 